chance at the northern lights. This is the forecast for overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and it gets down the possibility of seeing the northern lights gets down to the tip of the thumb, the Saginaw Valley, more so than here. Uh, but if you're going to be looking out uh, maybe for the meteor shower, look for some northern lights. It would be awesome to get northern lights and a meteor in the same picture, wouldn't it? Uh, so Northern Lights best viewing, of course, is farther north. The forecast is fairly clear tonight, so that's good. Get away from the dark, uh, the bright lights of the city, get to a dark area. Your camera uh, will probably work. That's what we found the last chance that we had a really good opportunity to see it. A lot of folks were getting pictures on their camera more so than seeing it with the naked eye. Now the Perseid meter shower is going on. It should be at a pretty good pace tonight as well. Let your eyes adjust to the darkness. Again, darkest part of the sky is always a good little place to look. Get away from the city lights. Lights. Best viewing is before dawn, so really late tonight or just get up early, but it doesn't mean you can't see something late this evening and overnight as well. So that's all some pretty cool action to look at. Uh, this is not cool information to talk about, but the flood warning is going to continue likely into the weekend and probably until Sunday afternoon. This is not good news. I know it's not going down very fast. Last report this morning, 7.8 feet. Flood stage is 7 feet. Uh, the river is expected to slowly fall all week, but the slow part, unfortunately, is in play here. All right, 81 outside right now, dew point 56, humidity only 42%. percent we got a west wind at 7. It's been another nice day. Temperatures are mostly, as you can see, in the upper 70s. It is 81 in Detroit. Adrian is now reporting him and Roe is not. So I don't know what's going on there in the southern counties. But it's 8 degrees warmer now than the same time of the 4 o'clock hour yesterday on Sunday. So a nice jump there. Uh, action on the east coast, nothing real impressive. If you kind of sort of connect the dots from northern Minnesota through Wisconsin, and through this little stripe that's in our southwest counties, that shifts a little farther east tomorrow. So look at future cast. This is all done by 9 or 10, 11 o'clock at the latest. And again, overnight, it's pretty clear stuff if you want to try and see the lights or the meteor shower. And then tomorrow in the afternoon, maybe something, maybe a little slight opportunity for an isolated shower is around here late afternoon and evening as well. 62 tonight, clear to partly cloudy skies. Might need a jacket if you're going to be out for a while looking for the lights and the stars. Rain chance kicks in Thursday night. We'll talk more about the weekend and dream cruise coming up.